Integrated into the nodes are aeroelastic windlets designed to improve airflow by deforming in a precisely engineered manner. The air pressure itself controls their action. When the 458 Italia turns, so do its headlights. These bi-xenon units automatically follow the road ahead by monitoring steering angle and lateral Gs. The legendary automaker Ferrari was founded in 1929 as a racing team run by Enzo Ferrari. Its very first road-going sports car, the soul-stirring 125S, was introduced in 1947. underbody aerodynamic design, the 458 Italia achieves considerable downforce, nearly 800 pounds worth at top speed. Amazingly, it accomplishes this without relying on a large rear wing. V8 engine produces 562 horsepower. This helps the car reach 0 to 60 in 3.4 seconds and achieve a top speed of 202 miles per hour. Italia is equipped with 20-inch five-spoke alloy wheels and carbon ceramic disc brakes. Italia features a seven-speed paddle shift transmission. No company designs track-ready interiors more elegantly than Ferrari. The 458 Italia incorporates many important driver functions into the Manatino-equipped F1-inspired steering wheel. Italia turns, so do its headlights. These bi-xenon units automatically follow the road ahead by monitoring steering angle and lateral Gs. This is the very latest mid-engined V8 Ferrari, the 458 Italia. Pretty, isn't it? And that's not something you can say about many of their efforts from the last few years. The 430 had a front end like a leering idiot. 348 looked like it had crashed into a Venetian blind showroom. But this looks just right. Its appearance isn't just for show either. Those black fins in the front grille flex under air pressure, so the faster you go, the more they bend out of the way to improve 
aerodynamics. And there are no engine intakes to spoil the sides because they've been moved underneath the car. So it looks fantastic, and its 4.5 litre, 562 horsepower V8 means it has the guts to punch you repeatedly in the back of the head. But that alone wouldn't be enough. Some of its ancestors have been as incompetent and terrifying as having brain surgery performed by a baboon. As it turns out, the 458 is better than that. Much better. In fact, it's a sharp handling, smooth riding, savagely fast masterpiece. Of course, it's not perfect. For some reason, they've put far too many buttons on the steering wheel. The dashboard screens are so complicated they can only be worked by Bill Gates, and personally, I'd still rather have the brutal Mercedes SLS. But I can't deny that the 458 is a great car and a proper, proper Ferrari.